last time on Sakura Spirit. We found, we heard of Shrine MacGuffin. Gushi Main. Taco had, Hero. Had to go to a shrine because he's scared of fighting other people. And that's kind of where we are now. Um, and now, he's going to prison. No. Just kidding. What up, Poot YouTube? My name is Noble Giratina. And I am CJDXIII. Gesundheit. And we're here with episode 2 of Sakura Spirit. And continuing from where we left off, this is Hulk Hogan Arya Simple. Hey, brother! Alright, next line. Oh, nah, you're not tagging along, not even for a little while. Afraid so, Taka boy. Let me just grab some paper. I'll draw that map for you. Yeah. After, after Arya's return, quick preparations were made. I followed the instructions noted down on the map. You know, I'm kind of actually happy she grabbed a map, made a map. I'm actually horrible with directions. So yeah, this I know. <laughs> no, seriously, like, you can either tell it to me as I'm going somewhere, or you give me a map. Otherwise, like, I ain't gonna do it. It's like, oh, I'm yeah. the same way. Okay, so this, this makes a lot of sense. Surprisingly, it wasn't all that far. However, the hint on my on how to find my way back in case I got lost was a bit sketchy. Well, that's, that's good because it's a drawing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, uh, just look down. Good tip. <laughs> and you'll be able to see the roof of the dojo from anywhere on the hill. Alright, moving on. Ooh, forest. Okay. Kokiri Forest. The forest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Read. Okay, the forest near the dojo was my first challenge to overcome. A narrow path coiled along the trees, and nearby was the river Ichikawa's sister had mentioned. Well, if it's not, let's see. Oh, no, maybe it's, uh. Maybe it's, uh. Root Nose, uh. Wood. Petalburg. No, it's not Petalburg Woods. Uh, never mind. Are you trying to make a Pokemon reference? Yes. Stop. I know. <laughs> I followed Arya's scribbles with a bit of skepticism. But after an hour. It doesn't look like that forest. <laughs> an hour or so, I finally ar arrived at the supposedly legendary shrine. There's too many pixels there. Shrine itself seems surprisingly well oh, maintained, we're here. despite being in the middle of nowhere. It made me wonder if someone could be secretly living here. Perhaps some secret martial artist mas master? No. I'm sorry, King Kai does not live here. No, it's not. The it's thought not of a martial arts master. And the thought of a hermit living in the, within the shrine in order to prepare himself for an upcoming battle between good and evil started to dwell in my mind. Yep, back to Dragon Ball Z. Here we are yet again. I guess oh, it could. <laughs> yeah, it is I, the one who lives in the forest, Roshi. I live terrible. in a shrine. <laughs> I guess it's too good to be true. I saw it in annoyance at the fact that aside from the shrine itself, the grounds surrounding it seemed completely abandoned. Read. I am reading. <laughs> That's not English. <laughs> what do you want me to read it in? English. <laughs> okay. There was no way anyone could be living here. For the time being, I decided to focus on the reason behind my visit. It only took a few moments to gather the... before I gathered the courage to approach... I can't read today. You couldn't read last time either. <laughs> uh, once inside, I found a rather fancy looking altar... Of sorts. No, that's not... that's not the right... never mind. You're right. Do uh, you think... I think you think I'm bad at English. Uh, that needs to be changed. I'll do it. There, it's changed. Of sorts at the back of the room. That was a pun. No. It said alter. Bye, Noble. And now oh, I'm here by myself. Okay, he's back. No. It's not gonna be a show about you. Aw. It's my show. Fine. My channel. You're, you're just a tackle one, but I thank you for coming. <laughs> I guess this is the thing everyone's been talking about. What, this? This right here? Maybe it's the gong. Ring the gong. I am. I'm trying to. No, that's the fly. That's not you. Oh. I'm sorry. 
Si silently, I folded up the map I had been given. Putting it inside my bag, I approached the altar, which has been altered. I was kind of skeptical about the whole religious aspect, so I wasn't too sure if this was actually going to work. I don't even think luck will do me good in a match like this. In my opinion, there wasn't any room for things like luck in martial arts. That's a bad outlook on life. But isn't like, isn't like the formula like 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will? Let's just go on. <laughs> Wait, we haven't gotten to the 5% pleasure. No, this is more than 5%. No, this is the 50% pain. No, 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 it's 5% pain, 50% pleasure. This game we're talking ah. about. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll figure out that. We'll yeah. find out soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Judo is all about using the knowledge you have gained through training. Of course, a good amount of talent also helps. There was simply no room for something as superstitious as luck. Clearly, this was going to be a match where my experience and talent would be pushed to their limits. Nothing more, and nothing less. I mean, you could pull a limit- oh. How curious. The boy doesn't believe in superstition. And yet he stands here, surrounded by the very thing he denounces. Wasn't that kind of like leaning on the fourth wall since that was technically my thoughts? Or did I say something- did I say something pertaining to that? <laughs> Or to what? Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, what? <laughs> Never mind, let's keep going. Upon hearing the voice, I looked around, trying to find the source. But there was no one to be seen. It's a chameleon. Who's there? Who, who, who's there? Okay, never mind. That's, they don't get it. I know they don't. Um, Quite the cliched question. God damn, this whole game is cliche. Anyway. Yeah, but the right thing to ask is... Where am I? Do you know, like... I think this is another reference. Really? It seems almost like the Cheshire Cat. Oh, okay. I'll put him in a... Post but it's... I don't think it's a cat. Maybe it is. What are you talking about? <laughs> Show yourself! Not yet. Entertain me for a while longer, would you? This is a place like no other. Why did you come here? If you do not believe in such things as luck. I came here to prepare myself. Prepare yourself. God dang. Oh, do enlighten me about what this something might be that you are preparing yourself for. To fight for my friends. <laughs> I felt a little bit annoyed. Are you feeling it? <laughs> I'm really feeling it. God damn, can we just like put all the Smash characters on the screen, why don't I? Go do it. Done did. <laughs> I felt a bit annoyed as the questions continued, but may but maybe if I kept talking to her, I would be able to find out where Sheol, where Shell was Shell. hiding. Okay, I, I didn't know we were playing Portal. I mean, she probably just like bloopity blooped across the screen. I'm prepared for a tournament, a judo match. The world tournament. Oh boy, judo? What might that be? Seriously. You don't know what judo is? It's a highly skilled combat art. Aha, so you're a warrior. Hesitant to go into the battle and came here in hope of finding the resolve to fight. Hmm, I'm not sure about the warrior part. How fortunate. It just so happens that there's need for one of your kind. I think that last line just like went over her head. It's like, I'm, I'm not sure about the warrior. Oh, never mind, we still Ignored. need Ignored. My kind? A hero. This shrine brings fortune to heroes such as yourself. However, every great hero must sacrifice something in return. We'll sacrifice the tacos. You're right. You don't need it. Yeah, at least for this episode. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I think I'm over my loss of taco. Sounds like what what the others mentioned. Your version sounds better, though. Laughing briefly at the story, I decided to play along and clap my hands together in prayer. Do that. No, no, you had to laugh, too. Oh, ha, ha. Okay, good. <laughs> Wait, I did that the wrong over. Ha, ha. There we go. Perfect. So what's next? Do I offer up my allowance or something? Don't be silly. Money is of little importance to a hero. For you, the sacrifice will be something of much greater value. 
I will be looking forward to seeing what destiny has in store for you. Destiny says kill that fly. It's a special sale. 100% off the screen. <laughs> no, that, that was actually pretty good. Thank you. As if Not on really. cue. <laughs> Way to like make me feel good about this and then just kick me. That's just how I am. Fair enough. Fair point. Oh. <laughs> I just kicked him. As if on cue, I began to feel nauseated at the moments the girl's word reached my ears. My head spinning wildly, slowly, I staggered backwards, collapsing onto my back. And then he died. The end. And that's all for today. <laughs> Join us next week. Dragon Ball Z. No, oh, wait, sorry, wrong. Wrong thing. Oh, wait, are we still doing it? We're still doing it. Okay. We're still here. We're still we're still looking at Damn this, this gong that isn't working and the fly. Alright. As my vision grew blurry, the sound of, of approaching footsteps could be heard. Hello. Good luck, hero. You're going to need it. Yeah, I know. Despite my attempts to get back up... Why oh, is she a demon? Why isn't she a demon? The name is Sakura Spirit. She's obviously an evil spirit. Not obviously. I don't know. The demonic... And it, it the demonic look, jewelry, purple, purplish hair, the horns. It looks like a mix between Hamura and Le and Leo. I was getting. I was actually about to point out Hamura, but seriously though, how can this not be? How can she not be evil? Horns. Oh, and um, and a character from Antonia. Okay. All I managed was a, br was a brief look at the girl. Well, we've gotten more than a brief look. <laughs> it, this is much longer than a brief look. I think there's a blush sticker on her. And we're like, we haven't even met. The sight of horns and a tail. <laughs> See? Left many questions, but before I had a chance to utter a single word, my consciousness succum succumbed to darkness. See? Evil spirit. Case closed. More periods. Wait, wait. It wasn't, it wasn't an, a factor of three. I think that was like five. Go back. I can't go back. <laughs> go back. Okay. Didn't work. Rays of sun sunlight stirred me back to life, a groan of annoyance leaving my mouth while I tried to get back onto my feet. I felt a bit dizzy, but the first thing I noticed that there was I was no longer at the shrine. Instead, I looked, around, I looked like the horse near the dojo. Wow, look at that interim screen. Of course, my first thought was to look around and see if I could find the girl from before, but not a trace of her <coughs> presence remained. Really? Excuse me. Ah. To make things even stranger, the path I had followed amidst the trees seemed better maintained than I remembered. Whoa! I missed that line. Whatever. Okay. I'll put up a screen so... The, here. Here's the stuff we missed. Yeah! To make things even stranger, the path that I had followed amidst the dream... Oh, no, this is the one I... What? Whatever. Whatever. I should probably head home. The thought was cut short when the sound of several female voices could be heard nearby. Oh? Wait, is that, is that supposed to be female? Yeah, because the, the... Okay, what kind a, of voice? It says stern, but... Uh, high, low... I don't care! This is your part of my show! Damn it. Get back here! Hikage! Stop them at once! Wait, is that a different one? Yes! <laughs> it still says stern voice! Alright, then keep going in as if it were a stern voice. Just what do you think you're doing? I'm chasing them! I'm trying to stop them! Nah! I think they noticed it's missing, Onisama! Keep running, little one. We might just make it. Just when I thought this day couldn't get any weirder, the sound of heavy footfalls. I almost read that as footballs. <laughs> just a big football. Heavy football! It's a stone, actually, Luigi. I don't see any stones on the screen. It's, it was from the road, and it's been better maintained. I see. It could be heard nearby. Oh, what there the, they are. What in the world's going on here? There they are. There it is. All the t main characters. <laughs> you were about to say something else. I was, I was going to say, I don't think I would pronounce the word correctly, but look, we have Fox, we have Fox, we have... Red hair was uh, spear. spear. We have uh, a ninja. A, no, it's a kame from a comic I kill. No, that's a ninja. Uh, clearly a kame. Who is it's, a ninja? No, no, no. It's a character from Senran Kagura. Sure, whatever. 
What in the world is going on here? Well, I think this entire game is summed up right here in one frame. And as I said, not a cat. What? Those are foxes, not cats. That's what I said, foxes. I said, no, but I'm saying before, I said cat. Okay. And I said, I don't think it's a cat. Okay. Just go. All right, I'm going. <laughs> Further ahead, I saw a couple of girls in fast pursuit of even more girls. However... Perfect. There was something off about this scene. Something that didn't make any sense. Yes, the one with the blonde hair is looking at the screen. You sure? Mm, no, she's looking kind of behind her. Girls being chased have the ears and tails of an animal, and the pursuers appear to be armed with a, ka a katana and a nagi naginata. Katana. You conniving fox! Come back here at once! Return what you stole immediately! Give me back my panties! Well. Well, well. Hey, 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 Kage! How could you say something like that out loud? English. Okay, I'll read it again. Hey, 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 Kage! How could you say something out loud like that? <laughs> panties! Panties! Oh. Oh no, help save us from the rampaging woman! <laughs> As I watched the girls run off, I couldn't help but find myself struggling with the decision to leave them be. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> well, I didn't know what in the world was going on. Two girls armed with rather realistic looking props. Surely they couldn't be real. Yeah, had of course not. Like, had me. Of course not. This is an anime. <laughs> I couldn't very well call myself a hero if I let something like this go, go by without acting. I'm so going to regret this. Probably. I think we're already past that stage. Yeah. Mumbling in annoyance, I chased after the girls. So let me get this. Let me get this drawing down straight. We have two foxes being chased by two girls, being saved by a hero. The Taka hero. Da 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 da. Hikage, go run the left. Right. I said left! Why do you always undermine me? <laughs> I get it. It's like a who's on first moment. I wasn't saying right. I was... You know what? Never mind. I just no. run after them! Called it. As I was chasing the girls, I noticed that the trees seemed to be getting denser, making it gradually more difficult to navigate along the path. Oh, different. Oh, and Aesama, I don't think I can run much more. I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit... <clears throat> Just a little longer, Mako-chan. We're almost... Mako! Mako, not that! Not now! S sorry Onesama. Scissor attack! Scissor! x scissor. I arrived just in time to find a scene taken straight, out from, straight from an action movie. The girl with the blonde hair collapsed, held in her companion's protective embrace. The two armed girls were approaching them, almost mistakenly with killing instincts running amok. Oh. Any season martial artist would have would have felt it. Those girls were going to be in for a beating if I didn't stop them. We've got you now, thieves. I'm going to personally drag your sorry butts back to town when we have you both in in the stocks. Maybe I'll even show you how it feels to run around with any, any undies on. Oh, so oh. both of them. Okay. Very, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I must admit, having a breeze down there does feel kind of nice. Keeps me feeling fresh and tingly. I'm gonna. Oh. Um, okay. No. I've already done that once this episode, maybe next week. Hey Kage! Goodness, do you have any shame? This isn't about you. It's about our undergarments. Stolen! And these two criminals being brought to justice. Justice! Justice! Ode oh, Sama, it hurts. My head hurts. Shh, it's going to be okay, little one. No. She's the little sister, that's the only reason. I guess. Hey, guards, if you're so desperate to have your underwear back in here, catch! Stop it right there! However, before I was able to interrupt the conversation, silver haired girls tossed something into the air. Whatever it was, it was falling straight towards my head. Perfect. The two samurai girls instantly grew flustered. <laughs> back to this. Uh, I can't see! Who the hell tosses appealing items off of my face? I raised them into the air, looking like a professor examining an important sample while the thieves made their escape. A pink bra and lacy black panties. 
I'm sure oh that looks boy. good for him. <laughs> Maybe it looks good on him. Maybe that's what he's thinking. Hey. No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I knew this wasn't going to end well. We'll figure out about all that next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, my name is Noble Garatina, and... I am CJ. Join us next week to figure out how this doesn't end well. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>